today's devotional is entitled Darkness in God. Darkness is the, the partial or total absence of light. When we watch movies uh, with, with dark themes, horror movies, whatever, the screen is usually pretty dark. We play video games where it's hard to see what's going on. Things dwell in the dark, and we as Christians think of these terms that it's evil. That the evil one dwells in the darkness, and he tries to keep us there, to live there. And really, no matter who you are, you have darkness in your life. It's just the way it is. No one's perfect, and no one is immune to it. Now, there is one who did defeat the darkness. Jesus. But to defeat the darkness, God had to create it first. And in Isaiah 45, 7, it says, I am the one who creates the light and makes the darkness. I am the one who sends the good times and bad times. I, the Lord, am the one who does these things. Now, this verse gets taken out of context a whole lot. So I kind of want to break it down. And if we look at the verse from the entirety of the entire Bible, it's going to make some sense. But if we were to read it just as one verse, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How can God send good times and send bad times? You know, I only thought that good things came from the Lord. And if you look in 1 John 1, 5, it says, This is the message that he's given us to announce to you. God is light, and there is no darkness in him at all. So how do we have the idea that bad times come from the God, that, that there's darkness there? Everything that happens, everything happens for the glory of God. There's no other way to say it. God in his infinite wisdom created the world for you and I. Everything he created here and in heaven glorifies him. So let's break down this, this verse back in Isaiah. He creates the light. In Genesis 1-3, it says, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. So God created the light. Number two, he makes the darkness. So when you look at uh, the garden that Adam and Eve lived in, there were two trees that were forbidden from eating. And in Genesis 2-9, it says, And the Lord God planted all sorts of trees in the garden, beautiful trees that produced delicious fruit. At the center of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God made a tree that had knowledge of good and evil. Not just the tree of good, <laughs> but also had evil. So, so God made good and God made evil. And number three, he is the one who sends good times and bad times. Everything works for the glory of God. We can't fall into these thoughts that when the good times are happening, the glory goes to God. And when times are hard, that God has forsaken us and the Satan is doing what he does best. God is sovereign over all and his glory is unmatched. And Psalm 72, 19 says, bless his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. So when bad times come our way, it's an opportunity for us to work through it with faith. When good times come, you know, we as humans tend to rely on our own thoughts and, and say that, you know, what we did was what we did. The, the good times came because of something that we did. And when the bad times come, we, we blame God. Why did you allow this to happen? Why, why did you let these things happen to me? How foolish of us to say this. Ecclesiastes 7.14 says, Enjoy prosper prosperity while you can, but when hard times strike, realize they both come from God. That way you will realize that nothing is certain in life. When bad times come, it allows us to use our faith and hope in God to help us through those situations. And then the wisdom to see what the good that came out of those situations are. God allows good and bad things to happen to us so that we don't become comfortable with the good, that we all of a sudden don't rely on him when things are good. We can't rely on our own wisdom and understandings. That's why we have the mix of good and bad. 
So next time, when things start feeling really comfortable and super easy and just life is just kind of chilling and you're on cruise control, don't fall into the trap and saying, I got this, it's, it's all me. Because God's going to allow bad things to happen in your life to correct you. And just quite the opposite there, guys. When things are going so bad, you just can't seem to light, see the light at the end of the tunnel that just time after time after time, nothing seems to go right. God hasn't forsaken you. He's right there beside you, helping you through those moments, helping you see what you need to see so you see his glory. God has control of all the situations. And see, John 16, says, I told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. See, there is a lot of peace and there's a lot of comfort in knowing that God has it all in control. The good times allow us to praise God and the bad times allow us to get closer to God. To see his glory in all of those moments, to praise him forever and ever. That is our devotional for today. Is there darkness in God? <laughs> 